What's going on? <clears throat> What's going on, YouTube? Voice a little raspy. But um, I had to remake another intro to the, my break video, which I'm about to post now that I made this intro. Also, don't forget to like, share, subscribe to the channel, and give it a thumbs up for this video if you like it. Now, this video, of course, is about my uh, my Camaro, which is over here. I um, My brakes were squealing, so... You know, that's the indicator. Brakes have that wear indicator where if your brakes squealing, it's time to replace them, right? So I stopped driving my car, and when I had a day off, I went on ahead to replace them. Now, in this video, you're going to see, I thought I had got a good deal. Um, the brakes was like $69, some premium brakes from Advance. I went on ahead, and um, I got them. I had discounts and coupons, so I got them for like $45. But once I took, I didn't know how they looked. So once I took my brakes off, I saw the differences, which you're going to see in this video. Now, could they have worked? Possibly, but I didn't like how the little circle ball thing was sticking out the top. I mean, it just ain't look right. So I went, I said, I'm not even about to put these on. I went on ahead and took them back. Now, I'd be taking them back, trying to see if they had the right one since I had my brake pad off, which you're going to see all of this in this video. They, um, I realized that they didn't have them. Um, and then the ones that look exactly like mine at Advance, was uh, over $225, and they would have to order them. It would have took over a week or so to get them. So I wanted to drive my car. I didn't want to wait that long. So the journey continues, right? So I go, I was advanced. I go to O'Reilly. I go to AutoZone. Nowhere has the exact matching brakes. O'Reilly had some brakes that was close to matching, but it didn't have the, the, the top weight piece. Or I'm guessing that's a weight piece. I'm not sure what that is, but it didn't have that at the top. And I wanted to go with brakes that look exactly like my brakes. I wasn't going to substitute for a cheaper brand or cheaper brakes. And those brakes is $26. Now, I'm just saying that's me. People can choose what they want to choose, but that was me. So, after all that ripping and running, I just said, well, let me just call a dealership. Maybe the dealership will have them. I call a dealership, and these guys tell me $283. Almost $300 just for the front. Incredible. So, after... Be crying to them and begging and pleading. They knocked the price down to like two forty five, and I ended up getting them for two sixty two out the door. That's the most expensive brakes I have ever bought in my life. Two hundred and sixty two dollars for some brakes. That was crazy, but I know I, I know I wanted the car to stop just how it stopped stock, like right on the dime. This car will stop, and I love that about this car. Prevent a lot of accidents because I do um, often drive faster than I probably should. But, I mean, it's a sports car, 200 miles an hour on a dash. And they got the, I had the four-piston Brembo brakes. Now, the Brembo calibers. Now, I thought it was just the calibers that was Brembo, but maybe the brakes were uh, Delco or something like that. That's why I thought maybe it cost $100 for some good ones or the ones that come on here. But those are actually Brembo brake pads that come on here as well. And when I look at them, it said made in Italy on the back. So, if you got a Camaro SS, and you take your brakes off and they say made in Italy on the back of them and it got Brembo, be prepared to spend that hefty dollar if you want that premium stopping power. Because pretty much they got racing brakes on here. And I had the 18 inch rotor. So that's a huge rotor. But this is just an intro to that video. Go ahead and check the video out. If you like it, comment, share, subscribe. I finished the job, nothing leaking. Um, I had to top off my brake fluid, that was it. And I'm back to stopping the way I want to stop. My car is back to running, braking really good. Now, the scary part is that was just the front. I still have to do the back. But I'm going to get some drive out of it today. Enjoy the video. Peace. What's going on, YouTube? Just like that, I'm back. As you can see, I got the jack out. Yep. And the Camaro. So when you see those two things, you know some work about to get done. I sent my ticket to the car wash. Uh, it's back dirty though. I haven't driven my car in about a week. But it's the weekend. I got the weekend off. The weather is great. So I do want some top down action. Now this video, as you can see, I got the Jackson seat of enormous Brembo's. But this video is about installing brake pads on your Camaro. I've already went around and broken the lugs loose. I am going to be using my air because I want this process to be very quick. 
Um, I only want to spend less than an hour on it if possible. Hopefully I had the right brakes. See the compressor over here. Hopefully I had the right brakes because this will be my first time ever doing my brake pads on my Camaro. I have never replaced, replaced my Camaro brake pads. But I'm hearing a little squeal sound. You know you start hearing that squeal sound. That's an indication that it is time to replace the brakes. So I only did bought the front brakes. I am going to do the rear also, but not in this video. I'm gonna say that for another video and another day, because I just wanna put these brakes on and enjoy my day. So I am gonna replace the front and give you an idea of what you would be looking at when it's time to replace your front brakes. And just some house stuff. Here go the brake pads I bought earlier. Oh, don't fall. Set these down over here. Move this fire stick box out the way. Need to take that into the house. And these are the brakes I went with. Now, I know a lot of people, we these brake pads do get a lot, a lot of brake dust, right? However, I did a lot of reviews and a lot of research on the ceramic pads that get less brake dust. But the flaw of getting less brake dust is everyone, almost everyone said the same thing. What they said, you do not get the same braking power with ceramic brakes. Now, these are sports cars. They go really fast, high horsepower. So you want to be able to brake. And I know me, I drive fast, so I would like to brake just like the factory brakes brake. But of course, factory want a lot of money. So I decided to step it up because I wanted something with a lifetime warranty. I only have to buy these brake pads one time. I bought them on from Advanced Auto online because online gives you a 20% discount. So I had a 20% discount and then I had a $10, $10 off coupon for purchasing my battery for my Range Rover. The other day my Range Rover did not start so I had to purchase a battery for it. And that battery was about $100 then $69 after core and the $20 coupon that I got off of that. The regular price for the battery was $199. So I got it for $169 with coupons and 20% off. So I'm telling you right now, the advanced auto parts always, pretty much always give you 20% off if you order parts online. And anything that I want to be able to take um, swap out locally, like a battery, and, and I wanted a big battery for my truck because it came with the wrong size battery in it. Or brake pads, I almost always will buy somewhere where it's lifetime warranty or it's, I can get to it quickly, not order it and have to wait, send back. I want to be able to get it, get it quick, pop it in if I have any issues and keep rolling. So these are the brake pads I got. These aren't the lowest grade brake pads, but this aren't the highest grade either. Uh, of course, the highest grade is the ceramic pads, but these are the choice that I went with on brake pads. I think they the final cost for them was maybe sixty nine. Oh, I got the receipt in here. Let's see. That was the final cost for them, forty two. Like I said, I had got twenty percent off online, and I had a ten percent off coupon. I think the regular price was sixty nine, and I got them for forty three bucks. So great price. I usually try to keep up with these receipts. Just leave them in a the box, right? Best way to keep up with them. Now let's see what these look like. They come all fancy wrapped. And this is what these brake pads look like. Now I'm not 100% sure if these are the correct brake pads. So you're going to have to bear with me on that. It might be, it might not be. I don't know. I won't know until I take them off. But these brakes come with the uh, say organic grease <laughs> but the, the grease to keep um, the lube all of the moving parts to keep them from spilling that's the brake pads and it comes with the hardware kit so it comes with everything you need I've never replaced these brake pads so it's going to be interesting to see this should be the front brake pad um, I only have a four four piston caliber I don't have six piston calibers I think that comes with the Z01 model it's just the SS model so, we're going to get right into this video. You see the parts. I got the lugs broken loose. I'm going to go ahead and jack it up. Jack stand it. Remember, always jack stand for safety. When you're working on your vehicle, be safe. And I'm going to take the tire off. After I do those things, I'm going to introduce y'all back to the video in a minute.
Now you see how that wear sensor right there is just, just slightly touching that brake rotor. That's where I'm getting my squealing from. Nothing sucks more than your brake squealing every time you stop, right? I mean, it sucks a lot for me. But that's my issue. You see how low them brake pads are, actually. You can see it pretty good from here. So we're going to go ahead and get those off and get them, get them get it together. That was a quick stop on how it works. Uh, I use a 7 8 socket to get that boat off. Uh, you can use a 22 as well. 22 is more of a snug fit. A 7 8 is more of a loose fit because I didn't want my lug nut to get stuck in the socket. Uh, if you never saw the inside of how one of these looks, you see the, the strut. You see that shield? I don't know. But it's just plastic. See all the components, see the massive rotor, this rotor is massive. These brakes are massive. I should be getting them turned, but I want to replace my rotors with some drilled and slotted rotors. So I'm just slapping pads on it for now. And uh, maybe I thought of my birthday shenanigans and uh, my trips this year, end of the year, I will go ahead and buy some drilled and slotted rotors and replace the brake pads again. That's the beauty of having them under warranty, right? by about lifetime local. But let's go ahead and get these rotors off, get my wheel turned to the right, and go ahead and start breaking down this caliper. Switch up the music now. I love you, Frank, but I need something else to keep me going. And everybody might not be feeling you right now. They're going to feel you after I listen to you a hundred million times. Now I got to go to my absolute best, which I need to create me a work on car playlist, but my absolute favorite. Something I listen to almost every day my Beethoven. And one of my favorites is Symphony Number no. 7. I'm gonna go straight to that. I like Edge My Overture also, number 84. So we gonna bump number 84. Another tip too for people who do YouTube, it's not copyrighted. So you can play it all you want. This is 
definitely not the exact size socket. I definitely don't want to strip it out. I definitely was a fool for thinking I can use the 12 point. Six point is better. So an 11, six point, scratch that on that 12 point. I didn't want to have to use a half drive, but it's only like a, a three-eighths drive socket. So half drive it is. Gotta use whatever I can to get the job done. Don't want to spend my day on this at all. about the exact socket it should be. But like I say, I'm ready to get out here and enjoy this weather, right? So how I drive it is. Got the camera away. And they are on there tight. Took a nice little amount of force to get that off. I think it's only four bolts. Oh. Now look, I'm using a half drive. I might have to switch it up to the breaker bar. Which goes to show, I guarantee they're using air on these. And of course, the breaker bar is going to be too big. I need a short 11 six point. So, I'm going to have to use this setup. I can't turn my tire in any further, which will give me a little bit more leverage. I put my body weight into it. It's crazy. But I got it. I got two of them. Should be a total of just four. Four bolts to get it. Jeez. Goodness gracious. So I don't like using air on those because they tend to get too tight. If I got them loose. Let's see what it's looking like. It's one bolt, remember 11, 11 six point to get the job done. So keep that in mind, an 11 six point, you can see it. I don't know if you can see too close, but the caliber is starting to separate. I'm probably most definitely gonna have, add, gonna have to add brake fluid. Cause I see some starting to drip now. And brake fluid travels through the holes that get lined up from one side to the other. You get my drain can for that.
didn't know that at first. I should have. But you know how it is when you're in a hurry. You just try to get it done, right? I'm not thinking, oh, grab a green drain pan. I got two of them out so far. This is the third bolt. Hopefully you can see that. For some reason that fourth bolt is a little tight. Let's get that off. My trusty flathead. Ouch. It came with new clips. The clip looked like it fit around those pins. In any case, still a little bit more quiet. Want to get a little dirty, so make sure you got a little rag with you. you turn Beethoven down a little bit. I don't want the music to overdraw what I'm saying. six point hold it you don't want it to just drop and there you go that was the fourth bolt that's what it looks like on the inside as you can see I pretty much push the calibers pins all the way back in now the six pin of course it's a bigger break and it'll have two that's the make sure that o-ring is still in there and wipe this because that, when you press the brakes, it travels from out of that one hole on one side into this hole and into this side caliber. That's why you're gonna lose some brake fluid when you take it out. So make sure, you saw how I did, those are pushed almost all the way back flush. I'm gonna just wipe this off, making sure that that O-ring is still there. You could use some brake parts cleaner and uh, spray it clean, make sure that O-ring stays in place. And there you have it. You see how massively huge these are. And I love how I say Camaro on it. That's it. Let's, now let's see if I had the right brake pads or not, which it looks like. This is the pad. As you can see how low worn they are. I've had this car for two years. I got it in 2018. It is a 2018 and Pad is really worn low. I hope you can see that. There's the wear sensor. Is this style setup, the aftermarket setup, looks a little bit different. Hopefully it still works. I don't know, I may have the wrong brake pad. But this is extremely low and extremely worn brake pad. Because this is what the new one looks like. Now, I may have the wrong brake pad. I'm not for sure yet. Um, I'm going to find out. They may not, they may have sold me the wrong ones. If so, I'm gonna to have to get the right ones. But, or like I said, this may just be how the aftermarket brake pad looks, which would be odd that it will stick out that far. So, it's a roll you take when 
I got them for my year making model vehicle. They pretty much look almost identical, except for that. I'm not sure if that's just a manufacturer's brake pad or not. But if I line them up, you see they stick out just that much more. I'm sure that won't make a difference. I might still go ahead and try to bolt them on just to see if it works or not. This may be aftermarket, like I said before. Um, if it doesn't work, then I will have to go jump in the truck and get the right brake pad. But as you can see, the differences, you see the thickness in the wear, how low these were. You see the right pad and you see the new pad. We're gonna go ahead and get the back pad off, which in order to get the back pad off, first off, you gotta take this piece out, which you can just slide out now. The new brakes come with a new brake clip. Make sure you use it. I highly suggest it. These pins, most cases these pins get lubed. I'm not sure if they come out or not. It don't feel like they come out. See, it'd have been dope if they come out because then you could just lift this straight up out the vehicle. But if they don't, since they don't come out, I'm not sure if they come out or not, but it doesn't feel like they come out. That would mean I have to take the rest of this caliber off. And let's see what that looks like. Which is, the caliber itself is kind of like a caliber bracket also, which bolts directly onto the spindle. So I'm gonna get those two bolts out. So I figure out what size they are. They look like maybe some 15 or 16. So we're gonna find out right now. It might be some 17s or 18s. They, they're really huge break. And they are, they are uh, 18. So you need an 18, you would need a seven eight, and you would need an 11, all six point. Now usually these caliber brackets, let me get this out of my way, they usually be pre in pretty, 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 pretty darn good. So I'm not sure if I'd be able to get it like this or if I would actually need the breaker bar. Now doing it this way, it's almost like I'm using force to get it loose. And believe me, they're on there tight. If you got a um, good air tool, this would be a good air tool situation right here. I do have air tools, but as tight as this is on, which I guarantee they use some type of thread locker or something like that. It's breaking me down. Cause it's every, every turn is felt. It hasn't spun freely yet. So I can guarantee some type of thread locker is on it. Which is giving me a good workout. That's for sure. That one is coming out a little bit more freely. Let's try to get the back one loose. take a decent amount of brute strength. Like I said before, I don't want to take them pins out if they don't come out. I don't want to take them out and have a hard time putting them back in. If I had new pins, I would have probably taken them out. But we're going to go and knock this out the rest of the way. Jeez. 
because I'm playing with them. I'm gonna have to get on the ground for them. Get more force. I love the ability to put more weight into it. Just like I said before, we have these in there. and I wouldn't have had to take them off. If I take this rotor off, I can slide the brake pad off. Doing all this hard work for nothing. Because I'm not paying attention. I just double checked into that. Ooh, and that's a lot of work getting that caliber bracket off, they. They put that in beyond tight. But it look like there is hope. Take the caliber off, dummy. So yeah, that's my fault, y'all. I should have taken this boat off. It's not really tight. You saw I just held the caliber in place. This is a T30. So I'm gonna tighten that back on up. So that is ridiculous. This is the correct way to doing it. The way I was doing it before. The lot, it could be done that way. It's a lot more work. Then just take the roller off. And now you can pretty much see the whole setup. I'm about to go ahead and tighten that back on up. But as you can see, voila. And you also can see both them calibers are pretty much pushed back in. And as you can see, this is the old brake pad, not a lot of life left. It wasn't down metal to metal, but definitely worn. And that's why I was getting all my squealing sounds from. So that's gonna conclude this video. As you know, installation is the reverse of removal. I'm gonna tighten those caliber bracket bolts back up because they are extremely tight and I didn't even have to take them off anyway. I'm not thinking clearly, obviously. This way it was a lot easier. Keep in mind the tools you're gonna need, 7 8 on a half inch drive I recommend, 11, six point, and a T30 star to do this whole job. As you can see, I by me using my flathead, those pistons are pushed all the way back in on both sides. So it's only take now about five minutes to put it back together. And that will be all for the video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to all my videos. And definitely, most importantly, give it a thumbs up. This is your boy, Big Boy Les, signing out. All right, y'all. We turn Beethoven down. Really was a legend. So a quick update, as you can see. That is the part number. I end up having to go to the dealership. And I'm telling you right now, when you see it say made in Italy, just like designer clothes, just like everything else, when you see made in Italy on it, you know that shit was expensive. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these brakes out. Let's see. Made in Italy again. They make sure you know that they made in Italy. <laughs> they are not made in the United States of America. However, these are the exact pads. So you can see how thick they are. I don't know what kind of material this is, but it gotta be super duper premium. This is the exact material, exact look as the, my original brace, as you can see. You can see right on there, these are actually Brembo brakes. So there's not an AC Delco brake, there's not a GM brake. These brakes are made by Brembo that go on your Camaro SS. And I highly suggest you don't put nothing but what goes on there back on there. I refuse to settle for the little $30 brake pads that they had or the $80 brake pads that I saw. These were the only ones 
that match the exact look and exact fit. Exactly. So this is what I'm going with. Now, of course, I, I took the caliber apart to do my brakes because to me that's easier. It just means I have to bleed the brakes afterwards. So make sure you got a little bit of brake fluid with you and make sure you bleed your brakes after you put them all back on if you don't want to have to take the whole caliber bracket off as a whole unit in itself. Because um, I am going to have to bleed that, that side that I took apart. Now, I can't take it apart by just the two bolts and pop the pins out and put the brakes in, pop the new pin. I can do all of that, but this way for now, for me, was easier. Uh, it's no big deal to bleed the brakes out, so I'm gonna bleed the brakes afterwards. But I highly suggest these brake pads because they're going to give you premium, premium stopping power. Like I said, I didn't want to settle for anything less than the stopping power that I got um, straight from the, the manufacturer, straight from Chevy, straight from GM. Because to me, these brakes stopped incredible. So I'm not going to put no cheap brakes on some Brembo brake calibers. I'm going to go right back with the original equipment. Um, they only the other, I went to three stores. It's been, a, like I said, it's been a journey. I went to three stores. None of them had them. Only ones that had them in stock was the dealership. So I could talk them down a little bit. The regular price for them are $283, y'all. Uh, $283. Uh, my garage light cut off. Let me get my garage light to cut back on. Because I need some light. There we go. So the regular price for them was $283. I talked them down to about $240 and it came to about $262 with tax. That's correct. $262 are with those brake pads that come on your car cost from the dealer. Now they do sell them. Advance could have ordered them, but I would have had to wait a week or so to get them. I mean, they're made in Italy. They don't keep them in stock, but they could have ordered them or you can order them from Brembro directly. Um, but it was only saving me $40. So I want to drive my car this weekend. I don't want to wait. So I paid the extra money. Either way it go, I never thought that these brakes would cost that kind of money. Ever. $200 is incredible. But I want to go back with the original stopping power. I'm not settling for anything less. This is Big Boy Less signing out again. And make sure you hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel.